Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls. It's Oscar Bevis, Ryfell TV in association with MTK Global. I'm with Lawrence Acoli. Yes. Lawrence, what the, what has just happened there? Um, you were loving it, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I can't help myself. I'm not gonna lie. I enjoy kids being. Um, I enjoyed when I was in school. The naughty kids. I enjoy. Uh, I enjoyed every single second of what I just watched there. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, big up Derek, innit? And he's probably going to get the money. Isn't he? I believe he is. I yeah, mean, yeah. I believe he is. You know what I mean, obviously, I've never. You know, it's because I've never seen something like that happen live. I can't. I don't know how I'd react to it, and I thought it was funny. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, it might be serious. I don't know what's going to go on behind the scenes. Why well, did seeing him just? Him to go, you nah, know, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. Nah. No, he just kept going. He walked out. And, but do you know, what it is like. Obviously, I'm not in any of their positions. I don't know. I'm just here, just enjoying myself. But to just see people like this is real lives, real fighters having to do real stuff. So seeing it happen at a press conference, I, you never see stuff like that happen. But it's possible. Anything could happen at any time. So it's fun. Boxing. I love it. Right, on to you. Ives and Garbu. Um, yeah. This has sort of been a fight that's been in the pipeline for a, a couple of months now. Perhaps maybe the year that you'll be looking for the European title. Um, yeah. Trained by Dominic Ingle. Mm. Big punch, if you consider his record. Do you know too much about him? Uh, no, I just... I mean, I've watched a few of his fights. Even some I had to pay for. Joke. But um, had to pay. For I had to fights. pay for one of his fights, but you know we got it. It's all good. Um, I just, I think he's good. So I'm not gonna lie to you. He's really solid. Um, tucks up well. So it's gonna be. I have to be clever about how to get the, the big power shots off. He works hard, so he's fit. He's just an all-round good fighter. But I just believe I'm gonna be better on the day and um, get the victory. And in terms of sort of your route that you're looking to take, the European title, the obvious step. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I just feel that if in 14 fights or when in 14 fights I'm able to win the British. Commonwealth, WBA, and European titles. Um, it's going to be, yeah, solid, 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 solid movement. And then after that, we can see what's good. Do you feel like this is probably your biggest test to date? Because I was going to say, there's probably a few British fighters who've been tripping up recently, and you sort of, that's one thing you want to try and avoid. What do you mean? Like, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I've seen it. Yeah, no, nah, but it is where it is at the, the end of the day. Up. I'm young and hungry, fit and strong. So I have to take these opportunities and take these chances. I mean, it's not like I'm doing it for nothing. I'm doing it for the chance to win a European title. Um, and yeah, like I said, the guy's good, but I'm, I genuinely believe in myself. Otherwise, I don't need to take these fights. I could defend the British, I could do whatever, but I believe I'm going to win the fight. Him and his team believe they're going to win the fight, and then we'll see. But what's going to happen is, seven weeks' time is going to come, and on the day after, we're going to wake up and see who's won. I believe it's going to be me, so we'll see. There was talk at one point fighting for a world title. Obviously, Eddie and... Uh Team Salon have got quite a good relationship. There's a cruiserweight mm. world boxing super series yeah. going on at the moment. There was two uh, breeders' daughters yeah. in the final. You've got fighters who also fell short, uh, considered fighters at the top of that division. No. Um, that's something perhaps you'll be looking at. It depends. You get it? through this? Yeah, that's it. Like when I get through, it depends what kind of fashion. Like I always know I'm going to win, but in what kind of style? Is it going to be a rubbish fight? Is it going to be one where I have to do? Is it going to be one where I'm able to win cleanly? Then we can talk. Do you know what I mean? It's not about. Winning, winning, I've already known I'm going to win, but it's how I win. Do you feel pressure when you say that, if it, that it could be a rubbish fight? Because obviously you've come in for stick in the past. Yeah, but I don't feel pressure day, getting into yeah, the ring no, to I'm that. not even pressure enough because ultimately I'm having fun. Like, with, in all honesty, when I'm on the table with all these people, I'm fans of everyone there. That's why when people come up, oh, can I get a picture? Can I, do? I, I, I find it weird because I'm more of a fan of everyone that's around you, you know what I mean? But now I'm just part of the seeing so I'm not obviously I love myself but I can't be a fan of myself I'm a fan of everyone else so I just enjoy all of this do you know what I'm saying so we're going to a friend of yours Anthony Joshua um it's announced that he's fighting Andy Ruiz in Saudi Arabia um, yeah. was there talk that you'd be on that card because I can imagine there was, there's been quite a few suggestions to yeah. people saying get me on that etc no there was talks of it but on uh, obviously um the European title you can't European, fight, yeah you can't right? you, yeah. no you can't I don't know about that but ultimately this fight come up and it's at this time, so it's a bit of a short turnaround, and I can't overlook this guy. Obviously, you can see he's game, he's hungry, he wants it, so I have to make sure I give him my all. You just talked to a little bit about Joshua Ruiz, too. Your thoughts on one, Saudi Arabia, and two, uh, the fight itself? I'm going to be in Saudi Arabia, so big up. And also, um, yeah, I expect Joshua to make the necessary adjustments, box clever, box di um, dangerous, and get the victory. And just finally, I want to ask you about KSI and Logan Paul. Um, mm such a strange situation to even be talking about it in terms of professional boxing man obviously mm. fronted by your promoter Eddie Hearn yeah what do you think about that 
I think it's a, uh, I, I actually paid to watch the first one, so I can't really say nothing. Um, yeah, I actually, yeah, I paid to How watch it. How much was the first one? It's like seven, seven, yeah, I did, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll come, yeah. No stress, yeah. Cool. It's um, 7 99 I think, or something like that at the time. Right. It was a while ago. But yeah, I was interested in watching it just because, you know what I mean, it's such a big event. So I feel, same again. Uh, when is it? November. November time. Yeah, yeah I'm going to watch it again, you know what I'm saying? So I look forward to it. I think it's good. I can't see the downside to it because all it's doing is bringing another um, set of fans to watch. Do you get coming from? Yeah. And the same box of fans that would have watched anyway, watch all the guys on the undercard, are still going to watch, but now you've just got more people watching. So it's good for the boxers anyway. Hey, Lawrence Coley, thank you for giving me some of your time. Thank and you. Um, catch up with you soon. Thank Sweet. you. to close the show. He did it in emphatic style. Delivery, it's Paul.